Okay, so in this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing how to install uh, Server 2022 into Cremu, and I'm going to be using the sort of the usual extra long command line uh, to do it. And so, uh, including that command line, it's, it's a, something called a huge pages where what it does is it pre allocates the memory so that uh, QMU doesn't have to contend with the host operating system for the memory. And so, in order to, you have to usually that should config, come configured with your OS, but what you might find is that when you try to run the command, it doesn't, it says it can't allocate the memory. And the way you can tell is that if you if you run this this particular command, um, yeah, and you find if if the, if that a non huge sorry the huge page is total and if that is zero and the free is zero, and this huge TLB doesn't have anything in there or is zero. Then when you try and run the command, it will just give you an error saying it can't allocate. So what you have to do is you have to um, you have to echo a certain amount into this number of huge pages for it to be allocated. And because the page size is two megabytes, uh, you you get a number and you times it by the two, which will give you the number of megabytes. So this is about 24, um, what is it, 16, 32, so I think this is about 48, 48 or 49 something uh, gigs. But what happened is when I typed this in, I only got 17,239, so that's all the system we allocate, which gives me a total of 35 gigs. So uh, what that means is that, um, Yes, yes, so, so notice that's the same number as that. So when I do my run my command to, um, I have to make sure that the amount of memory that I'm trying to allocate is less than whatever this huge TLB value is, because here I've got my mem alloc. So it's going to want that. See, it says number of huge pages free, 17239, because I've got mem alloc. That needs to be free for this, for this part of the command to work. And also, I've got here the Vertio Win ISO, and in order to to get that, um, I have to basically go to the because um, the, the link will be in the description. Um, but basically, just go to this link because it saves time. Because when you search for it, you get all kinds of weird results. So it's best just to use this straight link because this takes you to the actual place where the original is located. And all you want is basically this one. So this, so this will be the latest version, which is the same as this 0 0.1.240. So if I get that, I'll just copy that because I'm actually got an old version here. So I'm just going to replace it. Because there's a reason to get the newest one because the old Vertio Win. Uh, images they don't have an installer for the guest tools but if but what's happened is the newer the newer ones which are newer than a certain version the guest tools actually have an installer on the ISO so it's definitely make sure worth making sure that you get the the newest version that you can and also you, you notice that this ISO is actually quite big as well because admittedly these Fedora guys have been doing a lot of work trying to keep these guest tools and guest drivers up to date, especially for Windows. So it seems their Windows, um, their customers are using a lot of Windows uh, machines in their sort of virtual environment. Okay, so that's downloaded. And so the next thing, I'm just going to show you the, okay, so that's finished downloading. So the next thing I'm going to do is to show you the crazy command I used to actually create the, um, the, the virtual, virtual machine uh, QCAL2 file and I just need to I just actually need to delete it just to make sure because one thing I've noticed the newer versions of of Kremu image doesn't actually when you run the command it doesn't overwrite the image properly I've noticed 
So is this Yeah, so it's just this. I just did all these things just to try and give it a bit of a speed up. So because so, what I want to do is I want to make sure that this um server 2022 install is the fastest one possible. So if you're trying to go for a record, this, this is how you would try and um and do it. So of course this this mad command line I'll, I'll put it. I'll see if the description will take it, but if not, it'll have to go on the on my website, which I'll just put a link for. Okay, so that's up. So, right, so we're just going to go through the install. Okay, so we just want the standard one, but make sure to get desktop experience because, you know, obviously Microsoft isn't good when it comes to command line. So of course we've got no disk, so we have to load the driver. Just browse. And so the one we want is um bio store. And of course we want um oh yeah they do have it. Because even if you got an old one, 2016 you the driver should still work, but we just this is just because it's the newest driver, so just do next. Okay, so that's in. So now we just click next just to run the installation. So now because well, what I'm hoping is that the the performance will be quick enough so that I can actually do this real time. Cause because usually if someone's got a bit of a slow computer, they'd have to this part they'd have to skip it. But if you tune everything so like it's super fast, you can just wait for it to get to the hundred and, and as you can see I can just do a little bit of talking and the installation is going so fast that you don't I don't even have to bother trying to skip this and this is sort of like what I was trying to achieve with all these like um, sort of mad uh, this mad command line because what I was just going to show what these are these are just the enlightenments as they call them which um, are sort of for Hyper-V which they put into uh, QEMU to try and so that the Windows operating systems can interact better with the the host machine and so as you can see this is I mean uh, it is just a few minutes and the store is almost well it's, it's finished so this is the kind of performance that you actually want when it comes to um, running a Windows machine, because why bother running Windows on bare hardware? Because you'd be lucky if you can get it to install this fast on real hardware. Okay, so we're here already. That's it. So, so just like that, we're into server 2022. 
And of course, everything's flying as you'd expect. And you've got the classic services which, which don't work, which that's one of the things I like about Microsoft, the way how can you do a fresh install and already the services are broken. So uh, what we have to check now is that um, in the device manager, of course, there's a few unhappy devices there. And of course, we don't have our networking either. So the way we deal with that is we just have to go in Explorer and then go into the Vertio CD. And if you look down here, see it's got, this is Vertio Win Guest Tools 64-bit. So just double click on that. And of course, it's just going to install a load of stuff. So just let it install everything because it's not going to be like Windows where each of these things is like an ad, has an advert with it. So it's just going to install whatever is necessary in order so that your um yeah. So we got our networking now. So you got the tablet and everything. And so just like that. One that will see this is why you make sure you get that new ISO because if you don't, you won't have this installer, then you will manually install these, or you know, it's, it gets a bit tiring without this installer. So, if you go to device manager, and there you go, so everything's clean. So, we've got our network and the got our eight CPUs, we've got a red out Vertio. And then we've got our um, see Vertio Serial, Vertio RNG, Vertio Balloon. So we've got all this sort of fancy stuff in here. So if you want to use some host-based uh, programs to control stuff inside the virtual machine, now you've got all the drivers in. And then we've got the good old tablet so we can go in and out of the, the window as well with ease. So, so there you have it. So that, that was just a quick quickly showing you how to get a super fast um, uh, server 2022 up and running on QMU and hopefully someone will find it useful.